Okay, hello everybody, it's Lou. Um, we're going to do a request, Fireflies. Um, a young lady posted a nice comment for me today, which I really appreciate. And she um, requested this song. So I just barely learned it, so bear with me on it. Um, we're going to do it with the capo on the third fret. Okay, and we are going to go over the chords at the beginning of the lesson. So you can always fast forward if you know all the chords. We're going to do G, C, F, A minor, E minor, and D. So let's go ahead and get started. The G chord is 2nd um, fret 5th string index finger, 3rd fret 6th string with the middle finger, 3rd fret 2nd string ring finger, and 3rd fret 1st string with the pinky. Now I happen to like it with the G chord using the bottom two strings, but if you prefer to just use the 1st um, string, the bottom string, you can just put your ring finger on the 3rd fret 1st string and do it that way. Okay, and just to confuse you more, it's not a bad song to do bar chords, so I'm going to show you the G bar chord, which is, in case you decide you want to try it, which is 3rd fret, cover all the strings with the index finger. Let's go ahead and move here. So 3rd fret, all the, str all the strings with the index finger. 4th fret, 3rd string, middle finger. 5th fret, 5th string, ring finger. And 5th fret, 4th string with the pinky. That's the G bar chord. Okay, F chord, we're going to go 1st um, fret, cover strings 1 and 2 with the index finger, 2nd fret, 3rd string, middle finger, and 3rd fret, 4th string with the ring finger. <coughs> Excuse me, and same thing, you can do the F bar chord if you want to. So if you decide to try that, 1st fret, cover all the strings with the index finger, 2nd fret, 3rd string, middle finger, 3rd fret, 5th string, ring finger, and 3rd fret, 4th string with the pinky. Okay, then we're going to do our C chord, which is 1st fret 2nd string index finger, 2nd fret 4th string middle finger, and 3rd fret 5th string with the ring finger. Okay, we're going to do an A minor, which is 1st um, fret 2nd string index finger, 2nd fret 4th string middle finger, and 2nd fret 3rd string with the ring finger. That's your A minor. We're going to do an E minor, which is 2nd fret 5th string, middle finger, and 2nd fret 4th string with the ring finger. And my fingers always get confused on the E minor, so sometimes you will see me do it with the index finger and the middle finger, and either way is okay. Okay, then we're going to do a D chord, which is 2nd fret 3rd string, index finger, 2nd fret 1st string, middle finger, and 3rd fret 2nd string with the ring finger. Okay, so the hardest part with this song for me was trying to figure out how to play it. Since when I went online to look for it, uh, several people are using different chords, and it seems like they're all posting the chord changes in different places throughout the song. So I went through the song and I tried to put the chord where it sounds like to me they're doing the chord change. So that's an area you want to listen to and see what you think. The second thing is that I noticed is that it's important to kind of know at certain points that there's an area, let's say, where they're playing a chord a little bit longer or they're pausing. And I tried to point those out to you, and I'll go through them as we get there. Um, the intro is a GCF, and it is done with the keyboard thing. Um, and I have it as four times. So basically, it sounds like this, and then I'll show you what I'm doing. And then we're going to go into verse 1. Now, since I have a beginner class, I mean, you can try to figure out some way to strum it if you want. But all I'm doing is and then pause. And that's an F bar chord, just so you know. That's what it is with the F regular chord. I happen to like it with the bar chord, so that's up to you, though. And then you would start into the first verse. 
So here's a couple of areas that I'm going to point out to you. Um, the verse 1 is GCF four times. And then after the word asleep, they play um, for that word, the F chord. And you're going to see that I put a parentheses times 2, X2, okay? And really what that means is to me it sounds like they're playing that F chord for longer. So you want to listen to that part of the song. And same thing with the word stare in the same verse. You're going to see in parentheses after the F chord during that word um, an X2 again. And again, that just means they're playing it for longer than one measure. So here's verse 1. Okay, then they're going to go into the uh, first chorus. Now, you guys probably know already um, that I don't sing due to a throat surgery I had, but I thought I'd mention to it to you because some people do kind of rag me on it. And rather than save you the embarrassment of picking on somebody that had a surgery, I thought I'd let you know why I don't sing. Um, and it is important to try to do the chord changes in the right places So I on this song. So I, did, I do hope that I haven't posted in the right places for you. So from that last F chord of the intro, okay, would not believe your eyes. Ten thousand fireflies lit up the world as I fell asleep. Sorry for my singing. Cause they fill the open air and leave your traps everywhere. You take me rude, but I just stand and stare. Okay, chorus one is a mouthful of chords F C G, F C E minor. F, F, C, F, G, A minor, F, C, B. And I suggest where you see two Fs together, to go ahead and lift your hand up and put your hand back down and do the F again. Okay? Um, also, at the end of this one, the D chord sounds like to me at the last on the last line where he says, uh, it never as it seems. That D chord sounds like it's played for more than one measure. So you're going to see an X2 after it again in parentheses. And it sounds like this. Okay, then we go on to the next verse. So. I'd like to make myself believe that planet Earth burns slowly. Sorry to say, I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep, because everything is never as it seems. Okay, verse 2, GCF four times. Now, this one, after the word dance, I have an F. Um, with the parentheses times two, so it plays longer than one measure. And then at the very end, where he says a disco ball is just hanging by a thread, over the word thread you play an F chord, and I have times one and a half, and then the word pause, because there is a very short pause after that word. Okay, so that sounds like this, and listen for the F chord and the pause. Okay, you hear that little teeny pause and then he goes into the next chorus. So, because I get a thousand bugs from ten thousand lightning bugs as they try to teach me how to dance. A fun shot above my head, a side drop beneath my bed, a disco ball is just hanging by a thread. Pause and then you go into the next chorus. And the next chorus is a mouthful again F A minor G F C E minor F F C F G A minor F C G F. 
and see. That sounds like this. And the only thing on that one is after the word sleep, at the very last word of the um, chorus, it's, that F chord is played for a little bit longer. And that sounds like this. Okay, then we're going to go into what I'm calling a bridge. It's basically the same chords as a verse. Uh, but let's go ahead and do that chorus first. Okay, so. I'd like to make myself believe that planet Earth turns slowly. It's hard to say I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. Because everything is never as it seems. When I fall asleep. Okay, and then you're going to go into the bridge, is what I'm calling this one, um, GCF four times. And after the last word again, the word sleep, um, they're going to do an F chord and a pause before they start verse three. Also, after each line, the first three lines anyway, I leave my door open just to crack. You'll hear whispering, um, please take me away from here. You're still playing the F chord while they're singing that part. Same thing with the second line because I feel like such an insomniac. Uh, you're going to continue to play the F chord while they're singing, please take me away from here. And the third line, why do I tire of counting sheep? Same thing, continue to play the oof, F chord, oof chord, <laughs> the F chord uh, while you're singing, please take me away from here. Okay, so with all that said, here it is. Okay, there's your pause, and then you go into the next verse. So, keep my door open just to crack. Please take me away from here. Because I feel like such an insomniac. Please take me away from here. Why do I tire of pounding sheep? Please take me away from here. When I'm too tired to fall asleep. There's your pause. Okay, verse 3, GCF four times. Um, basically, same thing, the F chord after on the second line is played longer and I haven't notated. And the F chord at the end of the uh, verse on the word jar is also played longer. And that goes like this. And then we're going to go into course three. So, the ten million fireflies I'm weird because I hate goodbyes. I got misty eyes as they said farewell. But I know where several are if my dreams get real bizarre because I saved a few and I keep them in a jar. Okay, the third chorus again. Big mouthful again, F A minor, G F C E minor, F F C F G A minor, F C D F. Now here's the part of that that you need to know about. And the same thing with the uh, chorus four, where he sings, when I fall asleep, the very last line, that F chord, because there is no pause, they don't play it for longer, um, it actually goes directly into the fourth chorus. Okay, so you want to listen for that. I'm going to let it run a little bit into the fourth chorus so you can hear what I'm talking about. So when he says, when I fall asleep, it automatically starts singing, I'd like the, the fourth chorus. Okay, so listen for that. Here it comes.
Okay, so I'm going to back up so we can do the next chorus, but uh, that goes right into the fourth chorus. Okay, so I'd like to make myself believe that planet Earth burns slowly. It's hard to say I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep, because everything is never as it seems. When I fall asleep, I'd like to make myself believe. Okay, it goes right into that chorus. So the fourth chorus um, it's going to be basically it looks like almost the same chords, maybe a little bit different. F A minor G F C E minor, F F C F G A minor, F C G F, and the same thing when he says when I fall asleep, that goes into right directly into without any pause or anything, into what I'm calling the outro. So the fourth chorus sounds like this. Okay, and it's kind of like they're almost singing the outro a little bit slower. Okay, so that chorus again would be. Oh, sorry. I'd like to make myself believe that planet Earth burns slowly. It's hard to say I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep. Because everything is never as it seems. That's when you go into the outro. So, from the end of that um, chorus, it goes right into the outro, which is going to be F A minor G F C E minor F F C F G A minor F C G. And that sounds like this. Okay, and that's pretty much it. Um, what you can do on this last outro, I'm calling it. Again, it's F A minor G F C E minor F F C F G A minor F C G. You can go ahead and strum it, or you can just because you can hear that they're playing like um, one chord of the piano throughout the end of the song. So you can just maybe strum each chord. I'd like to make myself believe. That planet Earth burns slowly. It's hard to say I'd rather stay awake when I'm asleep because my dreams are bursting at the seams. And then it ends on the word seams and a G chord. Okay, that's pretty much it. I hope this helps you. I'm sorry about the terrible singing, but there's not anything I can do about it. And it doesn't seem to be getting any better. So uh, thanks for dealing with that. And you guys have a great day. Thanks.